What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Let's light them up. I just bought this. It's by Coughlin. Coughlin, maybe? Fire paste. It's a gel that you use to apply to wood or whatever you're burning. And it's going to kind of work, I think, a little bit like a sterno, and it's going to be a fire starter. And it just really makes, you know, uh, starting fires really, really easy. Here is the tube. You can see it here. It's Oh, just a little under four ounces, so it's pretty big. It actually kind of feels like almost a full-size toothpaste tube, so I think you're going to actually be able to start uh, a number of fires with this. Now, depending on the kind of wood you're trying to light up, if it's, you know, larger, thicker wood, you know, you might have to use more fire paste. kind of depends on how... Um, accommodating the environment is for you but if you're using small tinder and kindling you know you might not have to use as much so it's a little um, questionable how long this will last but my guess is probably 10 fires and the nice thing about this is it's so compact it's so travelable and you can just quick squeeze it on and it lights to the touch of a match now uh, I've even seen people take uh, sparkers you know uh, fire igniters the ferro rods things like that and light this up too pretty quickly and the, the other cool thing about it is I think you can lay it down in any pattern you like so you could lay a bead down on a stick that might be your kind of base you might be able to do a little swirly curly cue if you have a kind of a teepee setup so it's really makes it that much more flexible when you are out in the wilderness now I don't have the wilderness available today but I do have my wood burning stove so what I've done here is I've set up some wood we're gonna test this out I've got my fire paste and I do have the lights on here because I want to show you what I'm doing as I am opening this thing up now it has a nice big easy to grip cap here so I'm gonna take that off and you can see here that the top is sealed up so you use the punch on the inside of the cap or the outside of the cap and punch the hole in it and that's gonna give you kind of that opening now I have kind of set this up as a lean-to as much as possible it's kind of a crappy lean-to but that's because I want to use this 2 by 4 as a base to apply some paste now I'm gonna show you here that probably things are gonna move around is that ooh comes out kind of well, cloudy milky colored and it comes comes out as the consistency of toothpaste I'm able to see that there but I don't have to do that I can actually put it like on a piece of wood like this and even apply it to the underside of this stick and the underside of this stick now I do have one thin stick this is probably about a number two pencil size stick but everything else is either larger than my thumb or even larger than that even kind of a couple fingers thick so I'm using pretty big stuff here specifically but if you had an area where you really wanted to generate some flame you could always lay down a little bit more of this I'm gonna be pretty generous on this just kind of curious what it looks like when it you light a line versus light a little pile of it so close this up and now I have my lighter here now I've turned off my flash here because I want you to see this as it's actually happening and what it looks like. So if I just touch the flame to it, wow, goes up instantly. So I guess I would not be surprised if this actually works with, like I said, a ferro rod. And now you can see here, the gel that I put underneath that stick is holding flame directly on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, could you use this for indoor use? You know, consumer fireplaces like this, maybe. But I really see this as something that's going to go in my bug out camping kit, you know, outdoor use. It's going to be something that I could easily carry around in a little day pack. You know, so if I needed to start a fire, if I were planning on um, running into adverse weather conditions and had kind of other fire starting methods or more traditional fire starting methods, and this was a backup, I could definitely see myself using that. It seems to be burning kind of a long time. It, you know, I, I would have thought actually on some of these that as soon as you ignite it, it kind of burns away really quickly. Um, but this is actually, uh, you know, I don't know how long it'll last, but my guess is maybe it'll continue to burn for 60 seconds maybe. So as you can see, it's burning for long enough to start igniting, especially the bark around this these sticks. Adding some of the gel to the larger sticks themselves, I think is a good move too. So. Um, I have no doubts, and especially if you have a little crosswind, you're doing this outside, that that is going to be enough to light sticks like this. Um, you know, wetter sticks, you might have to do something a little bit more aggressive. But if you, are, like I said, do a little prep, have really uh, good tinder and kindling, then you might just need just a little bit of dab of it just to kind of start this up. So pretty awesome. Something that will hold the flame kind of in place for a little while while you're getting that fire going. Uh, as opposed to just uh, worrying about the, the wind kind of blowing out your lighter, blowing out your match. 
Uh, this will definitely kind of give you a little bit more, I don't know, cushion than a lot of the other products out there. Check it out. I picked this one up on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive uh, for the four ounces. I think like eight or nine bucks. So uh, link below. Peter Von Panda out.